everyone, we're back. And this week's phonetic pattern is all about ending blends. Remember a couple of weeks ago we talked about blends are two consonants that go together to make a fast sound. But we can hear both sounds. We had beginning blends like s, t, s, t. And I know that I can still hear the s and the t. But when I say words like stop, the two sounds are blended together really quickly. It's like a strawberry banana milkshake or trail mix. Even though the sounds and the flavors are all mixed up or blended together, I can still separate them and I can still hear both sounds. Well, today we're going to talk about blends that happen at the end of a word or syllable. Here are some common ending blends. Ult, like in halt. Nt, like in pint. Ulp, like in help. But I know that for all of these, I really could separate it into ul, t, n, t, and ul, p. Let's take a look at some real and nonsense words that have ending blends. Take a look at this word, ul, e, f, t, left. And I could actually separate this and have it say ul, e, f, t. And I hear all of those sounds. It's just that the f t at the end goes together really quickly. Let's try another one. How about this word? D, i, sp, disp. Real or nonsense? It's a nonsense word. How about this word? Bl -a -st. Blast. What do you notice about the word blast? Yep, it has a beginning blend and an end blend. When I tap out the sounds in blast, I can hear all of the sounds. Tap with me. B, l, a, s. Blast. I can hear all of the sounds in blast. I just know that when I say it, blast, it goes together quickly. Okay, let's try it with sound boxes. If I have the word mask, how many sounds do I have? M, a, s, k, mask. I can hear every single sound in the word mask. I know that sk at the end is a blend that goes together fast. So I'm going to put a connector to remind myself that this is a blend. But I put each sound in its own sound box because I can hear the sounds. Let's try one more. How about if I have the word kept? I kept a pet bunny under my bed. Kept. K. E. P. T. K. E. P. T. I can hear each one of the following sounds. Kept. And I know that the P and T is an ending blend, so I connect it, but each goes in its own sound box. Let's take a look at a two syllable word and decide why it's so important that we recognize if it's a blend. Let's start with this word. How about the word, I come to this word in text and I have no idea what to do. Am I going to guess? No, I'm gonna use my decoding strategy and break this word into syllables. Step number one, find your vowels. Step number two, Build a bridge and look up. How many consonants do I have between my vowels? Two. Say it with me. When I have two consonants between the vowels, the consonants will split. So I'm going to split up those consonants. Now I can read a big long word just one syllable at a time. 
This word is subject. Subject. Okay, let's try another one. How about this word? I'm reading along in text and I see this word and I'm not sure. Is it erupt? Is it erupt? Is it erupt? Is it erupt? Let's use one of our strategies to find out. Step number one, find your vowels. Step number two, build a bridge and look up. What am I looking up for? Consonants. Say it with me. When I have one consonant between my vowels, one will run. Okay, so I separate one will run. My R runs to the second syllable. And this time my word is broken up into these two syllables. What does this syllable say? E. It's an open syllable. It doesn't have a guardian consonant, and I know that open E says E. How about this syllable? Rupt. Rupt. I know that the U is short and says a uh, because it has guardian consonants. So this word is erupt. Erupt. Okay. Let's look at this word. I come to text and I have no idea what this word is and I'm going to divide it into syllables to help me read one syllable at a time. My step number one is to find my vowels and build a bridge. But what do you notice when we look up? We have three consonants. Do you remember our poem? When I have three, a blend or digraph it must be. And I need to know that my blends are going to stick together, right? I would never break up a blend or a digraph. So I draw a connector and this is counting as one fast sound. Then I can separate my two consonant sounds. And I really know that this is mm, it's two sounds, but I know it's a blend that sticks together. So now I can break my word up and my word is camp site. How did I know that it was site and not sit? Because it has a magic E at the end. My word is camp site. Notice that oftentimes words that end with a blend will be its very own word in a compound word. Camp is a real word, sight is a real word, but I still need to know where do I divide my word when I'm going to read it. Okay, let's take a look at what happens when we want to spell a word. This is actually not that difficult because the beautiful thing about blends is I can hear every single sound in a blend. What if I want to write the word disgust? Step number one, ask myself, how many syllables? Dis, gust. Now just tap out the sounds in disgust. D, I, S, D, I, S, gust. G, A, S, T, G, A, S. The word is disgust, and it's not very difficult. In fact, I wouldn't even need to necessarily know that that's a blend because I can hear every single sound in a blend. Let's try one more. How about if the word is student? You are going to be a great student. Step number one, how many syllables? Stu, dent. Okay, let's tap out the sounds in stew. S, t, u. And I know that open O says U or U. How about the second sound? Second syllable, stew, dent. D, e, n, t. The word is student. Thanks for being such a respectful student. Okay, that's all for today. So I hope that you enjoy this week's lesson and I'll see you next week.